Hey everybody, or should I say hey, the few of you that do watch my videos, thank you very much. I was just checking out uh, some new stuff growing down there. Too much flow though, I didn't turn the flow off. Alright, so it hasn't been a great couple of weeks since I last did a video. I've had a couple setbacks and a loss. For whatever reason, a couple of weeks ago, my blue jaw, who was always a very skittish fish, um, got scared while I was feeding the tank. Um, never had an issue with him getting scared while I was feeding. Generally, when someone would walk in the room, he would get startled, but never during feeding time. So, for whatever reason, a couple weeks ago, um, he was right in front of those corals, and he shot across the tank at full speed right into the side of the glass. He then shot all the way to the other side of the tank, head first into the glass. He then shot back in between the star polyp, and you can see the trail that he left, splitting the star polyp, and then basically went to flopping around in between these two pieces of rock until he finally made his way to the back, where he stayed for a while. Uh, a couple hours after that, he made his way into his cave which is the underneath this whole section underneath is open and he was in there and had locked himself into the rock uh, i noticed the next day he was still in there he did take a little bit of food he didn't come out but he did take a couple pieces of the brine shrimp or whatever as it went past him and he stopped eating after that uh, in fact the only time he came out was to basically spaz out and he would try to jump out of the tank flop all over knocking corals over and just running into everything I didn't see any real visible damage on him from all of this he did have some marks but nothing more than I'd seen on him before when he had had his little scare moments where he would try to take off into the live rock and hit the live rock a little hard but I think the nosedive into the glass was too much for him. And he did not recover. So he stopped eating for the last two weeks. And finally when he ran out of energy to even lock himself onto the rocks anymore, he went up and basically laid on top of that power head. My wife went to take him out, and he did give her a nice bite. Uh, he then went over and sort of flopped on that filter, and she was able to scoop him out and put him out of his misery. He had lost way too much weight to recover and just couldn't even swim without knocking into everything. So definitely a, a sad week for my 40 to see my favorite fish go in addition to that um, as you know from my last videos I was moving corals from the 40 to the 75 and a couple of them my favorite corals did not do well so the bubblegum chalice and the Jedi mind trick neither one of them fared well under the new lighting system I don't know, I just couldn't get it adjusted to make them happy. So I just moved them back in here, hoping I can save them. So we'll see what happens from here. Hopefully I can save these two, at which time maybe somewhere down the road I will frag them and try that again, but I don't want to lose my two favorite corals. 
And I should have probably known better than to move the whole coral into the new tank, but setbacks happen. I guess just learned that by watching uh, JD Reef's new video on the Black Pearl and his setbacks with ick and hair algae. It can definitely happen to the best of us. And I've been uh, putting in some extra hours at work. I know Reef or Oswald, you were just kind of saying you've been kind of strapped at work, so it happens. Um, since the trigger is gone in here, the uh, dotty back has reassumed or retaken his title as king of the tank. And even though he doesn't bother the angelfish, he does keep uh, my damsel and my cardinal confined to that short little area of the tank. And if they venture out, he uh, chases them back. And every now and then he'll pop over here and just chase them around their own little corner to sort of let them know that they're not welcome to leave. So I'm going to have to get... There he is in the back, sort of spying on them now. Let's see if he bothers them or not. I think he knows I'm filming, and he usually is pretty kosher while I'm around, but he will chase them. So, I would like to get him out of here, maybe replace him with a six line wrasse, but I am worried about adding a new fish to the tank, obviously. Um, when you're not having fish problems, introducing a new fish is always a gamble. And until I'm able to get a quarantine system set up, we'll have to figure out what to do in the meantime. So a couple steps back, but hopefully nothing we can't recover from. I really hope these two corals can recover. I will run out and shoot a video of the 75. It's progressing, um, obviously not as fast as I would like it to, but that's the problem with reef tanks is you do have to be patient. And the more patient you are, usually the better results you have. So alright, live and learn and move forward I guess. So alright I'll go shoot some video of the 75 finish my cleanup in here and maybe post a new video. Alright so we're out at the 75 um, four damsels in here and a few corals. But like I said I've had to turn the lights down uh, Corals, some of them are seeming to do really well. I moved the Bazooka Joe in from the other tank. Seems to be doing very well. Another chalice from the 40s doing really well. So some seem to be doing okay. And others seem to be turning white. So I have the lights turned down now and I am hoping we'll see a difference. And over here doing really well. And the damsels are doing well. Coming out now and being very curious. I did, like I said, add the uh, yellow finned angel, and she has been very, don't look at me. So she is right there, I don't know if you can see her or not, through the tinted windows and all. Um, she's right there. She likes to hang out right there. It does come out but uh, very people shy. So I'm hoping that she can get over that. And as you can see from moving, see these rings? From moving this uh, power head around, 
it made these awful rings on my tent. So now I've got to redo the tent on this side. And I still can't get the flow quite right. You can see this uh, nice big divot right there in my sand. And this seems to be recording very blue. Um, I do have the blues turned up. The lights should be turning off to blue here in a minute, but I do have the blues turned up and the whites turned down. I was hoping to get some of the light off of these corals. So I am just under what, 75% there? And just under 75%. So they're about even with what they're on. Between the mixed colors and the blues. So just need to slow down, take my time, and let this tank mature. And I know we got a long way to go with that and hopefully won't lose any corals along the way. But like I said, I am a fan of the damsels. I don't mind sitting here and watching them. I think they're good looking fish. In this nice big tank, they seem to leave each other alone for the most part. You know, they don't bother the angelfish and when she comes out, they pretty much clear a path. So hopefully I can get these lights figured out and get some coral growing successfully in here. All right, as always, appreciate some comments. Any thoughts on what I could do better is always appreciated. So, one step back, but uh, still moving forward.